Okay, hi, I'm Mr. Omingyo. Okay, I'm going to talk about how does convection happen. Okay, as we have discussed in the previous video about conduction, conduction occurs mainly in solid. So, what is the, what is the effective heat transfer for liquid and gas? The answer is convection. And convection only occurs in fluids like uh, liquid and gases. And the reason why the heat is being transferred right, is due to the change in density. Okay, so let's look at an example here. I have a beaker of water that is heated by a Bunsen burner here. So the question is, how does the water gas heated up? Okay, uh, now I'm going to go through the answer. Okay, um, before that, let's look at the, the six circles here. These six circles represent the different region of water in the beaker. Okay, so first point. The water at the bottom of the beaker is heated and expands. So the water at the bottom is heated, so it gains thermal energy, so it expands. The expanded water is less dense than the surrounding water and starts to rise. Okay, because when, when the water expands, the volume increase and the mass stays the same, so the density will decrease. So this expanded water being less dense will rise. So when it when this expanded water rises, the cooler region of the water in the upper part of the beaker being denser, they will sink to take up the space that is left behind. And this movement of the liquid due to a difference in density sets up a convection current. Okay, so to emphasize again, we can see that the, the waters, they are, they are actually moving in a circular region. And this, and this movement is called a convection current. Okay, this is a very popular O-level question. And the question usually will ask you like, how, how do you heat up a beaker of water or a container of water? So, uh, this kind of question is usually about 3 marks. So, to score the full mark, you need to have 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4 in the, in the answer. 